these are part of another faction of Jamaica that have been falling to the oversight of the consequences and repercussions of what is going on right now. Now, do not get me wrong. I agree. I don't want to give away, but I don't know when rough time will come. And true. I know, like, sexy, sexy Lisa, that is true. That is true for true. Zin, but when we look for what's going on right now, I agree with the government with locking down Jamaica with what is going on right now. I honestly don't agree with the duration of the lockdown. I think the, lock, the lockdown, we should have just get one two weeks straight lockdown. That's how I feel. Like real lockdown with no movement and anything. That's how I feel. You understand? And I feel that would have probably stem the curb or stem, stem the, the rise of the coronavirus a bit if it was up to me I would have locked down I'll travel from overseas too if it was up to me I would have locked down for a full probably 30 days or 90 days and I've said this a, a long time ago with no movement if it was up to me but locking down without provisions being made for persons who are unable to forage for themselves Is not a good look. You understand me? I say, just locking down alone and saying turn on the yard alone, that is not enough. I understand that the government want to do something, and I and I applaud them for their efforts. But trying a failed experiment over and over, and expecting to get a new result from or a positive result from the same experiment over and over, that is madness. That is in science. That that is in insanity. Science 101, tell you this. Zin? Zin? Science 101, tell you this. If you work in a formula and you work the same formula every time and you get a wrong result, something is wrong with the formula. Something is most, most definitely wrong with the formula. The lockdown only allow a job for the day that it's set for. What about the, the few days leading? Yeah, as me I say. The days, the, the way all the lockdown I do, it not make no sense. Because three days now go do nothing. Three days with a lockdown now go do nothing. It not go curb anything. You understand? First of all, the lockdown, it create a bottleneck. The, the days prior to the lockdown. So instead of having the person spread out their shopping ability, everybody is forced to congest in the areas, or in, in the places to go shopping in the Western Union, at JPS, the bill playing places, everywhere that people normally go to. They create a congestion there. And none of these places are equipped to deal with the amount of crowd that they are getting. Even them I have four or five more persons from staff, they are not equi equipped to having four days worth of traffic in congested into one day. They're not, they're not equipped for that. You understand me I say? So the three day lockdown something I honestly don't feel like it make any sense. I mean, no, say, what I'm going to say right now is going to be unpopular, especially to my fellow members of the dance hall or the, or the, or the entertainment fraternity or to everybody at all, anybody that is working and trying to earn money. The only, the, the only thing the, 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 for this lockdown to literally work, you would have to give persons like a two weeks notice or a one week notice and then lockdown for your 90 days or the minimum 30 days. A lot of people are saying that our, our economy cannot afford it. But you have to remember this, you know. The entertainment industry has been locked down for 18 months. And a lot of people are, yes, we are suffering. And yes, we gone back to square one. And yes, a lot of people really and truly never did really make it out fully with everything in, in tow. But if the entertainment fraternity can stay locked down for 18 months, the entire Jamaica is supposed to can manage it for lockdown for, for, for 30 days too. If we survive 18 months out of lockdown, what is one month for the entire country? Yes, it's going to freak up the economy. But when we set and we step out, when we step out of the lockdown, we are going to be a healthier country and able to go back to business and the machinery or the mechanism of our economy can start churning again for money to start make, making the, the full blunt of the of the in, of our economy 
can be opened up so everybody can start working and generating income for everyone. You understand? Not just some sectors and some sectors being left behind. What we need to do, we need to close the borders. And, and everybody has, for every time I come and talk, people always say, you always are pointing out the problem. What is the solution? People, I'm going to ask you to listen to the solution. That I've, I've been thinking about it for months and months and months. The borders need to be closed for a minimum of 30 days. Yes? Yes? Daddy? Uh-huh. I have candy. No candy. No candy. I soon come. Go on back inside and use the tablet. I soon come back here, Papa. Alright. Alright, 10 minutes. Daddy. Hmm? Yeah. Go on inside and use the tablet. Please? Please. Alright, Papa? Mm -hmm. Zin, so as me I say, yeah, 30 days, 30 days lockdown, minimum, inter that I will flee country itself. Everybody will in the country for staying in here for 30 days. Travel need to be restricted unless it is something that is detrimental or something that it has to. Tourism and all them something after the lockdown for at least 30 days. Preferably about 90 days. The borders need to be closed. You understand? Preferably about 90 days. The borders need to be closed. You understand me? I say? Somebody said, can the government do that and feed the nation? The borders being closed does not need, mean say flights not leaving the, not coming to the country. Doesn't mean say food and them something can make. That no means say ships can come in with goods and them something. There. Still have to go them thing they are essential. So them thing they still have to go, go on. Ships still have to go come here, come dock and all them thing there. You understand me I say? Zin, food have to come off of the ship, them and all them thing there. Whatever it is that we produce has to be done, has to be there. The heap of money where the government is, is using right now. To provide police and to turn the country in a militarized state. A lot of that funds need to be diverted to feed the people. It makes no sense. You amp up security and the people are hungry. You are doing, that is what they call precautionary measures. Measures, no, reactive measures. You understand those are reactive measures. So you are preparing a security force that is able to deal with the violence that you are expecting or the revolt that you are expecting. Instead of feeding the people and providing needed resources for them which will cause them not to revolt the people are going to revolt because they are hungry they are living in squalor and they are disenfranchised for you to prevent them from revolting you deal with their hunger you deal with the squalor that they are living and you deal with the disenfranchisement that is how you get people to relax and to stay calm to prevent revolt right if the people are hungry and the people see no hope I know sun over the horizon coming up, they will revolt. And this is a fact. And you, knowing that they are going to revolt, instead of you divert the revolt resources to prevent them from revolt, revolt, you are amping up your reactive measures to deal with the revolt. You are preparing for the revolt because you are making your security forces more capable of counteracting the revolt. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. You understand me, I say? So if you have people here and you have us on lockdown and there is no way nobody now see, say, all right, the, the, there's no plan put in place to say, all right, this is what we are doing to that. Remember, say a plan, an effective plan, you know. And if an effective plan, to have an effective plan, you have three, par three parts to have an effective plan first part identify what the problem is second part figure out what you're going to do to attack the problem third part ensure where the, the action is going to lead to a solution of the problem we have identified the problem which is covid the action that we have we have been taking is not leading to, to, to number three. We keep on taking actions that are not leading to a result. The end result is not there. There's no end result. There's nothing we're going to say, all right, we can say, all right, boom, we lock down, we turn our yard, and then 
by them time they, we are gonna come out because of because we, we yeah, let you out and the virus not dissipate. Yeah, let you out and we still get reintroduced new new vectors are get inter reintroduced to the population we are trying to keep away from yeah 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 you yeah, keep on a re inoculate way. That no make no sense. That no make no sense. That no make no sense. If you want your house for clean, Zin, if you want your house for clean, stay clean. Zin, you look at your house dirty. You clean in the house, and while you cleaning the house, you keep on allow people walk in the house with them dirty shoes. That now going to make no sense. The house, you never ever done clean the house. The house are always continuously get dirty over and over and over. When you clean the house, you tell the people, say, stay outside. Me I clean my house. Do not come in my house until me done clean. After you done clean, you put a mat at the door. So whoever come in, them wipe them foot at the mat before them come in and take off the excess dirt off of them foot. You understand? Whoever come in, if them don't need to come into the house, you don't let them in because you know say the people unwanted people coming in the house is going to cause the house to dirty up back. You understand me? I say? And if you don't want the house to dirty up back, you don't let in people in the house with dirty foot. Simple solution. You understand? All of these measures, and I'm telling you on these people, you see when you see 10 years or 15 years from now. I am just waiting for all of the scandals to come out. All of these measures that the government is doing and their sets and stuff in the coffers of their friends and families and their counterparts and all of them things are bear them foolish to go on. How much aid and how much grant them get from how much countries and companies for do this and do that and then none of the aid and none of the grants them that we see, we don't see triple most people react better to fear of punishment than promise or reward increase the fines for non-compliant citizens and businesses and get police and soldiers to enforce it on a wide scale. Brother, that now go help. That now go help. If you have a bad pitney and you have a belt and the bad pitney see the belt every day and you beat him with the belt, you getting a bigger belt now go make the pitney start behave himself. If you have a picnic that is it, it is not compliant, a picnic with nana ears, and every time the picnic do sit in beat the picnic, beating the, giving the picnic more lick or at a lick, now go stop the picnic from doing what they wrong them way him do. What you need for the, you need to sit down with the picnic, reason with the picnic, and try to get into the picnic psyche to see what is the stimulus that is causing the child to be rude and not adhere to the rules. You have to try to go into the child's psychosis and to try to find out if what is wrong. Is it that the child has a behavioral dysfunction? Is it that the child is lashing out because of something? Is it because of whatever internal demons that the child is trying to fight that is preventing the child from doing all of these things? That is where you need to find out instead of killing the child with more lick. Now go make the picnic stop. Misbehave themselves. That now go, that now go help. You understand me, I say? See me like a woman with there with a man, you're there with a man and the man no stop flashing body all about a cheat pan you. Every day the man has start cheat pan you. You, you find out say my cheat pan you and you threaten him. I you give him back an exchange, him still cheat pan you. You watch the man, you watching the man and begging your friend them for watch the man and searching the man phone. That now go stop the man from cheating on you because it does done in a him nature already. You have to try to de delve into the man's psychosis to see why it is that the man can't stop why I'm incessant and cheating or I'm insistent cheating. You understand? Same thing with the society. Our society that we live in right now are rebellious. They are rebellious. Why? You need to try to find out why it is that they are rebellious. Having higher fines. You understand? Having higher fines and more police on the road is not going to prevent the person from being rebellious. Rebellious. Because the person is already rebellious and that is just in the person's nature. And that is just, you have to find out why is this person rebellious? Why is the person not staying at the yard? Okay. You telling somebody, say, turn in your yard and do not leave your yard. And the person at the yard with three people were hungry and a baby mother will look upon him every day for eat and something. And he knows, say, if him got a road, chances are him can't get something for care come home from game pitney for him. You think him got time yard? No matter how much police out there. No matter how much police out there, no matter how much persecution him face out there, him not sit down him not sit down him yard and no say him pity them there hungry. You understand? No, no matter how you feel like say this the measures them strict or whatever. 
you it might work for you because you are afraid of retribution but there are persons who who them not give a shit about the retribution i'm a not if i'm an hungry today i'm an hungry today i'm a not go business boat i find him have to pay 30 days from now and i to them hungry 30 days from now speak for itself today him and him pity them hungry him no business boat going pan the road about 30 days from now when you came in front of one judge You have to remember this. You have some persons who don't have an option. You have some persons who really and truly do not have an option. Not for the taxi man, them, them sets a boom and them and say, all right, boom, yo, them catch up on the road after curfew, you never have exemption, them and lock you up and them and charge you with this. The only reason the taxi man dip on the road around run after hours is because they and their families are hungry. Them a drive a vehicle for a boss. Them have to get the boss. $5,000 per day for the car where I drive. Or $6,000. I could say $5,000 a day for the car where I drive. Gas price at $220 a liter. Or $200 a liter for gas. If I run 40 trips for the day at $100 per seat, rightfully, as COVID rules say, you're supposed to carry three person in your car per day, per trip. I run 40 trips for the day. 40 times 3 that is 40 times 3 120 12,000 that for the day 12,000 dollars for the day that how him get in a um that how him get in a income or whatever him collect that I grow so he make for the day out of that 12,000 dollars the same dog I forget him boss 5,000 Left him with 7,000. For each trip where he run, he must give the person who load the vehicle $100 per trip on the taxi stand. Whether or not you like it or not, that is just a fact of the matter. Zine, that is just a consequence and an expense so you have to endure. $100 per trip for the 40 trip that we go. So, that a $4,000 out of the money gone already. Zine, left him with $3,000. He no buy gas yet. Him no buy gas yet. For the 40 trip there, him probably take one five thousand dollar gas for the day. You understand? For run that. Him already gone over the money we he make for the day. So when the day done, him have to stay out little later for set and try to catch one 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 two two charter, one three four one three thousand dollar charter to get a three thousand dollar to make it up. At the end of the day, the taxi man probably only go home with one two thousand. I want 3,000 for the entire day and this is if you run the right way so if you want to make money you have to set some broke the rules you have to put on an extra hundred you have to carry three person you have to carry three person back and one at front you have to broke the three person rule you have to carry four person in a taxi because the extra hundred dollar day that have to pay the load of man that have to add to him thing where they saw so when the police them stop the man and say, why you have three back? Why you have, why, why you only have, with the two you're supposed to carry back? The man cannot afford to do that. Because if he carries three back, he will not make enough money to pay his boss for the day. He will not make enough money to buy gas for the day. And he will not make enough money to give the side, the side hustle. The people may hustle upon the stand. So these rules that are put in place are ridiculous because they do not consider the day-to-day -day activities of the persons who these rules are put in place to, for. So you have to think about the rationale behind everything. Why you see?